Hi, I'm Matt from Reacts, and this is The Kit Room. In each episode of The Kit Room, we'll bring one of our brand partners in to show their equipment, how it's best used, how to take care of it, and all the features and benefits so you can get the most from the kit that you use. Then, we will hand the kit to one of our instructors who will test it and play with it here in our center in Blackpool and give you their honest opinion. It's so much easier to get on and off. This is the Reacts Kit Room. Joining me in the kit room today, we have Roy McIntyre from Zenith Heights. Welcome to the kit room, Roy. Thank you very much for having us. Uh, it's great to have you. Now, Zenith is, is a company, you have a couple of brands. Yeah. Do you want to talk yeah, us Yeah, so through? Zenith is, our, is like the holding company. We have two brands, one which is, you can see behind us, Grips, and the other one with the fun little man, that's Arresta. The, um, where, we, where we go with this is everything um, to do with PPE falls under the Arresta brand and everything that's non-PPE related, i.e. tool tethering and like lifting buckets and tool bags, that goes under the grips range. So a clear distinction between the two, but complementary. Correct, yeah. Fantastic, you've bought products in from both yep, yeah, from us today. I think the first thing we're gonna look at is your high-vis jacket, you've got one down here. Yep, yeah, so this is something that, I know we, we, we left you guys a, this was to trial for a, a while, but um, it's something we actually designed primarily for the, um, the pad access market, where there's a lot of people getting in and out of cherry pickers for short duration. So it's designed so they can easily put this on and not worry about having to throw a high-vis on as well as. Fantastic, and, but it's a combination of having a high-vis and your harness in one. Correct, yeah, that's, that's, the, that's, the, that's the advantage of, of this one. Well, we've got a, a model, a willing model. Uh, well, I had to bribe him with a cup of tea. Um, Tom, Tom, come in, you're, you're wearing the harness today. Um, Roy, talk us through the features of the harness. So the cool thing about it, I'll just grab a lanyard real quick just to show you. So you have, it's just, it's a very nice two-point harness. So you have the first connection point, which is at the front. Okay. Um, so you can connect on here. This is just a two-meter adjustable lanyard. Um, and then the second point, if I take that off, I might to turn is, around, is if I spin you around, is the rear. So that's, a, again, a really nice, easy connection. The actual real um, thing about this is the, is the buckles and the way it, it's a, as a jacket. So it holds its shape really well and it's not ever going to tangle up. And then to put it on and take it off, it's just these buckles here. So super easy and super quick to, to do. And Tom, uh, you, you rigged yourself up in that and you've been wearing it now for a good half an hour or so. So you comfortable to wear? Yeah, very much so. Yeah. Um, very easy to adjust to the, the size of the, the leg loops and also the buckles are re really easy to unattach and an attachment put up. So happy yeah. with it, yeah. And that was, you were saying to me earlier, Roy, that that's really one of the key features of this is the, the ease of getting it on and off once you're set up. Yeah, so that's one of the things we, we uh, spend a lot of time when we design harnesses, not only this one, but like other ones behind us. It's, it's all about um, ease, ease of use of, of, the, of the harnesses. Well, we, I, this looks like a, a great harness, um, particularly as we have been training more and more people in the rail industry here in, in the UK. And uh, uh, I recently went to Rail Live and everybody was in orange and looking for a cool orange kit. So if you're looking for something different that nobody else has got in luminous orange, this looks like a great piece of kit. Thanks ever so much. Thanks, Tom. Thank you. Thank you. Roy, I know you bought uh, another harness in you wanted to share with us with a different couple of variations. Um, it's just on the dummy yeah. behind us. Do you want to talk through it? Yeah, so this is, um, this is one from our, our light range. Um, so it's a, this is a two-point harness. Uh, you've got front and rear um, points. So it's, it's designed to be um, as light as possible. You've also got the, um, the five-point version of this as well. So this is the one with work positioning. And then it's also got the um, abseil points as well. So, and then the front and dorsal connection points. Um, this is actually made out of a, you'll see this, it's, it's a mesh we use now. So we're going away from using padding, um, simply because the padding, when it gets wet, it obviously chafes and doesn't dry up very quick. Yeah. With this, it's um, a lot lighter than padding, and obviously it doesn't take on water as it's a mesh. There is other mesh harnesses on the market, so we've made this mesh quite a lot thicker and more robust. That way it's, um, it sort of holds its shape a bit better and doesn't wear out. So I'm guessing that's going to increase the durability 100%, of yeah. it as yeah. well. So the lifespan. So yeah. Do we have any particular care instructions for a harness with the mesh over a harness without the mesh? What, what, what's um, the best way I can look after my PPE? So 
same with all the other harnesses, just make sure it's not full of dust, make sure it's all blown out and, and when you finish using it you should always hang a harness to dry or um, to, to store the harness. Um, yeah, that's, that's the, the main thing. Again, with, with easy click buckles you'll find that if they fill up with dust they can um, defect. Sometimes we'll make sure they're always clean and just maybe a, a dot of grease in them or oil. Fantastic. So there you have it, a couple of variations on the same harness. Um, there and uh, with that extra padding support at the back should probably make this a much yeah. more comfortable yeah, option. No, yeah, it's a good, it's a good move for us this one. So yeah, we, we've had a lot of success with this one. Brilliant. Thanks very much. Now at the kit room, we always like to bring you something that is new to market. And Roy brought us today the new Arresta helmet, um, which is called the Arresta. It says the Plus helmet. But... Arresta Plus. Um, we've been playing with it here in the centre, very comfortable, but Roy, do you want to talk us through some of the key features of it? Yeah, so the way we've redesigned this is we've made it as, as compact as we can, so that the, the lid is as small as possible um, to still hold the, the 12492 standard. Um, so you still have the 397 standard in the, in the actual lid itself, but the, um, with all the insert, the padding and everything else, it does bring it up to the 12492 standard, so the chin strap is unbreakable. Um, it's a very straightforward helmet. It's just a lot lighter and more durable than other helmets on the market. Fantastic. And I see the venting on the side and you've got the, the clips for your head torch, etc. Yeah, exactly. That. And also there's a range of visors so you can um, pop out these plastic lugs and you can insert a visor range on the front. Okay. So that's, that's very um, unique. And so Arresta has a, a range of visors that fit Correct. this helmet as yeah. well? Yeah. Brilliant. Well, I actually particularly like the matte finish to it. Yeah. The feel of it is quite cool. I know it's, it's, a, it's an aesthetic, but yeah. that, that kind of matte finish rather than the shiny helmet. Yeah, so cool. it comes in a range of colours. Right. So we do it black, white, obviously. You can see the, the orange, or yellow, um, and then you also have, we do red ones and green ones. Or we can do pretty much any colour. <laughs> Brilliant. <laughs> but, yeah. Brilliant. Well, thanks for bringing that in. Moving on to grips now, Roy. Um, yep. You were telling me that grips is, is comes from down under. Yeah, that's right. The uh, which is Aussies. Yep. Good. So the Aussies have come up with a really new, innovative grip. This is a sneaky peek, friends. Um, I'm going to get Roy to explain it to you. Yeah, so I've got one here. So it's a really simple little feature. Um, it's a 2kg tether point to fit onto pretty much any tool. Um, the way it works is it is a cable tie, okay. in essence. We've got a sticky pad here, which will basically make it bind to the tool and then you just literally wrap the cable tie around and pull it tight. Okay. Let me, let me you show, show you. Us? Yeah, so I've got a, grab the little ratchet here. So this, you pull the uh, adhesive tape off and then you stick it to the, to the handle of the tool that you're wanting to, to fit an anchor point onto and then just thread it around. So this can go onto uh, podger spanners, even, even items that have, um, even items that are tapered shafts. Um, and then you just pull it as tight as you can, and then you cut the tail off simply like this. So super fast way of applying a grip to almost anything, right? Correct, yeah, and now that that's, that's doesn't go anywhere. So we've, we've had it on podger spanners, we've had this on slogging spanners, anything where it's slightly harder to get an anchor point. Um, it's, a, it's a really unique uh, setup and it really works super well. Brilliant. And in terms of durability, that stays on there for yeah, the so that will lifetime help. of the product. Right? Yeah. So once it's on there, it's, it's on there until either you cut it off or you throw the, prop, the, the tool away or whatever. So it's, it's a lifetime fitting thing. It's, it's really tough, so it's, it's not going anywhere. Well, that's great. Well, I've got the second demo that Roy bought with us. I'm going to make sure that he never sees that again. And you can get one at our web shop, www.reactslimited.com com and just follow the links to the shop. So Roy, the final bit of kit you've brought in to show us today is the brand new Mule backpack. Correct. Yes. Talk us through it, mate. What does it do? So it is a it's a it's a certified lifting bag. So you've got the um, 20 kg lift point at the top. It's a doubles as a backpack, and also you can mount it to the rail, which we can show you guys show you guys later. You've got uh, so it's a big fat leather base and um, so really, really durable with a waterproof zip. So it's all watertight, same with the front pocket. Um, opens up nice and big and you've got all, your, all the tools and everything inside with different anchor points. One of the really cool features about this bag is it's got these little tiny holsters here that you can insert retractor to. So you can literally reach in here 
connect up a tool like so and use it nice, seamlessly. A tether already. Correct, yeah. Little little secret one. Yeah, that's very cool. Yeah, so that's well why why don't we get this rigged up onto a bit of scaffold and you can go through all the features. Excellent, thank you. To rig this up, you've got two Velcro straps, which you just go around like so. And now that will fit onto any uh, mupe handrail or sort of scaffold tubes. And so Roy, we've got the mule tool bag all rigged up. Um, that we're, we're recreating a scenario here. We're fully decked out, so don't worry. Um, and we're in a safe training environment. Uh, a controlled uh, training environment. We've got a lid on just to make sure. Um, talk us through how we would use the bag um, and how we would use the functions of the bag and what we can do with it. So obviously you've got a, a lot of features. So you've got plenty of anchor points as mentioned. So you've got loads of places to connect lanyards on the inside and also on the outside. Um, and then you can reach into the bag and select tools that you want to sort of use out of the bag and then remove the tool. Do you often leave home with a, a mallet there? <laughs> yeah, I like, I like an old mallet because again, it shows we can we tether anything, so. I see that the anchor points have got, um, got markings on them for, the, for the, the amount of weight they can take. Is yeah, it? that's correct, yeah. So all the anchor points are fully marked up. So this one up here, that's a three kg anchor point. This actually doubles up as well. You can use it as a shoulder sling for the bag. Fantastic. Um, and you've got a retractable? Yep, so as we showed earlier, we have the retractor in here, so you can, you can quite easily connect up on, on tools inside the bag. That's going to have an advantage. You're not going to have to clip that onto a tool belt, are you, or onto a harness? No, correct. You so everything straight out of the bag. Yes. And you could pre-rig that as well, couldn't yes. you? The other feature that a lot of people use in the bags is the wrist, wrist lanyard, like this. So you just chuck this on and then you can reach into the bag, select a tool, tether it over the bag where it's nice and safe, and then come out with it. And that comes in the bag? Um, we, do we do this bag as a kit? So you can get this bag with the lanyards as well if you, if you require it. Fantastic. Well, there you have it, the new mule rucksack. I think a great piece of kit if you're just going out some scaffolding, doing a little bit of work, um, so you don't like things tied onto your harness or you've got a tool belt. Really fantastic. Well, we've reached the end of another busy day here in the kit room. We've got training going on all around us and a hive of activity here in our training centre in Blackpool. It's just my final thing to say thank you to Roy for coming down. We really appreciate it, mate. Thanks for bringing such a great array of kit. We've really only been able to go through a few things today. We'll get Roy back and we'll go through a lot more of the stuff that both um, Arresta and Grips have to offer. Thanks, Roy. No, thanks for your time. Appreciate that. It's Great cool. stuff. You can find Arresta products on our website on the link below at www.reactslimited.com and go to the shop there and you'll be able to find all of these products and more at really great prices. <laughs>